Hello friends, this video on continuity and differentiability part 8 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 7. Now let's define what is continuous function. We discussed about continuity at a point and we discussed about discontinuity at a point. So let's define continuous function. A real function is said to be continuous if it is continuous at every point. Correct? So first I told you the function is continuous or discontinuous at a point. And now I'm saying that a function is said to be continuous if it is continuous at all the points. You take any point and if that function is continuous at every point in the domain of f obviously we call that function as continuous function. Once again, a function is said to be continuous if it is continuous at every point in the domain of f. And normally, the polynomial functions are continuous function. Polynomial functions are continuous function. So, for example, you say fx is equal to 2x square plus 1, this kind of function, this kind of function is always continuous. And if this function is defined for all real number, this guy is always continuous for any real number. Or you say fx is equal to x cube plus 3x square plus 2x plus 5. This is also a polynomial function. And if this is defined for all real numbers, you will say that this guy is continuous. So this kind of continuous which is continuous at every point. First we discussed continuity at a point. Now I'm telling the whole function is continuous. That means it is continuous at every point in the domain of f. Let's take some more examples of uh, the continuity function. So we have to again define whether this function is continuous or not. In this case, the domain of this function is any real number minus minus 5. Except minus 5, it can take any real number. And fx is nothing but x square minus 25 by x plus 5. Why minus 5 is not there? Because the moment you say x will be minus 5, this becomes infinite. So what I can do is, the first thing, let me rewrite this equation. Because it is a little complex and I can just, by looking at this equation, I can say that x square minus 25, I can write x plus 5 into x minus 5. Let's do that. So this becomes x plus 5 into x minus 5. And this is x plus 5. I can cut this. Why I can cut this? Because x is never minus 5. If this was not there, I, was, I could not have cut this. But since x is never equal to minus 5, I can cut this. So my function becomes fx is nothing but x minus 5. So this is a polynomial function, it has to be continuous, it has to be continuous, I can prove this. See for any polynomial function, this limit extends to c if x is always equal to fc. Because any polynomial function, this is true. If this is true, I can say that for any point c, for any point c, because this function now, See why I could not use the same formula in this function because we had this constraint here x is not equal to minus 5. But in this constraint, I don't have any constraint. x is any real number for this function. I just rewrote this function in this fashion and I can say that x can be any real, any real number. So in this case, if x can be any real number, I can say that this function is continuous. This function is continuous. This function also has to be continuous because I got this equation from this equation only just by rewriting it. Let's take one more example. Here we have to show that every polynomial function is a continuous function, the one generally we use. And we have used this a lot of time. We told that uh, the polynomial function is continuous. So let's take one polynomial function of this fashion. a naught plus a1x plus a2x square plus a3x cubed plus a4x4 dot 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 a and x to the power n. So this is my typical 
polynomial function. And that is defined for all real number, x for all real number. Now, for this function, I know that if it's a polynomial function, the limit exists. For any c, the limit exists. And that limit is always equal to f of c. Now, if this is true, the function is continuous. Very simple, just I'm telling you take any polynomial function, for polynomial function, the limit exists and that limit is always equal to x equal to c. So this guy is always equal to fc. So if that is the case, that means the function is continuous function. So I can say that any polynomial function is continuous function. Let's take one more example. We have to examine the continuity of this equation fx is equal to x minus. So the trick part in this question is that we have this mod and which is difficult to operate. At least I hate these mods. I want to get rid of this as soon as possible. What should I do? The same equation I can write in this fashion is equal to 5 minus x for x less than 5 and x minus 5 for x greater than 5. Why? Because the moment x is greater than 5, the whole thing is positive. Right? If you take x equal to 6, 6 minus 5 is 1, it's positive. 7, 7 minus 5 is positive. The moment is positive, the value is same. Right? If I, that is, I have this formula. This is equal to x for x greater than 0. And this equal to minus x for x less than 0. Correct? This I know. The moment x minus 5, the whole thing is greater than 0. That is x minus 5 is greater than 0. Or x is greater than 5. The same thing which I am using here. This guy is x minus 5. The moment I say this equation, that is x minus 5 is less than 0. This becomes minus x. That is minus of x minus 5, that is 5 minus x, or x less than 5. Correct? How you got it? Because we have this formula, mod x is equal to x for x greater than 0, and mod x is minus x for x less than 0. And now I'm comfortable because I have two equations, polynomial equation, and I can find whether it's continuous or not. We have done such kind of questions. We can see that, actually, this is for x is greater than equal to 0. So I can say this is equal to Because 0 is neither positive or negative, so I took this here. Now, this function, if you see, I can divide the whole domain into minus infinity to 5, 5 not included, again 5, and 5 to infinity, 5 not included, infinity into. So this is the three bucket I can divide because I can see from this equation that 5 may be the point of contention. We don't know whether it is contention or not, whether the, the function is continuous at 5 or not, but just because we have two equations, the equation is changing at x equal to 5, we can have, I mean, the 5 at 5, the function may be discontinuous. We don't know. So we have to find out. So let's do that. So I have my three uh, cases, c greater than 5, c equal to 5 and c less than 5. So I'm approaching from this direction. So let's take case 1. c greater than 5, my fx becomes this guy, x minus f. Now if you see, it's a polynomial function. And just now I proved that polynomial functions are continuous. So this guy is continuous. So I can say continuous. Let's take the second case, c is equal to 5. This is the guy I am taking now. If I take c is equal to 5, here the function is changing, so I have to find left hand limit and right hand limit to just confirm whether the limit exists or not. So left hand limit will be limit x tends to 5 minus f of x. That is any number less than 5.00001. This guy, the moment I take for 5 minus 0.001, that is f of 4.999, I have to use this equation. So this becomes 5 minus 5 minus 0.00001, and this is nothing but 0 0.00001, 
ऑलमोस्ट इक्वल टू जीरो करेक्ट ना लेट्स फाइन द राइट हैंड लिमिट राइट हैंड लिमिट विल बी एक्स टेंस टू फाइव प्लस एफ ऑफ एक्स दैट इज एफ ऑफ फाइव प्लस हेयर पॉइंट जीरो 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 वन एनी नंबर दैट जस्ट ग्रेटर देन फाइव द मोमेंट आई टेक द नंबर ग्रेटर देन फाइव आई हैव टू यूज दिस गाइन ऑफ एक्स माइनस फाइव दैट इज फाइव प्लस पॉइंट जीरो 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 वन माइनस फाइव दैट अगेन पॉइंट जीरो 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 वन एंड दिस ऑलमोस्ट इक्वल टू जीरो सो आई कैन सी द लेफ्ट हैंड लिमिट एंड द राइट हैंड लिमिट इज सेम एज आई कैन से दैट लिमिट ऑफ एक्स टेंस टू फाइव एफ एक्स एग्जिस्ट एंड दैट वैल्यू इज नॉट टू प्रूव इट इज कॉन्टिन्यूस आई हैव टू फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ एफ ऑफ फाइव इफ एफ ऑफ फाइव इज ऑल्सो इक्वल टू जीरो दैट मीन्स इट इज कॉन्टिन्यूस सो एफ ऑफ फाइव इज नथिंग बट दिस गाय दिस इक्वेशन हैव टू यूज It will be five minus five, x minus five. That is five minus five. That is zero. Correct. So I can see that this guy and this guy are same. That is limit of f x x tends to five is equal to f of five. So I can say that this guy is continuous at x is equal to five. So here also it is continuous. Let's take case three. C is less than five. C is less than five. My equation is f x is equal to five minus x. f x is equal to five minus x. Now, the moment I say f is equal to five minus x, I can say it's again a polynomial function. And we have just proved that the polynomial functions are continuous. So this is continuous. Here also it's continuous. So my function is continuous at all points. So I can say that yes, my function is. A continuous function. Yes, the function is continuous. Thank you. Visit examfear. com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.